because I'm following a white rabbit. Why? Well, I I'm curious to know where he's going. Oh, she's curious. The oysters were curious too, weren't they? Aye. And you remember what happened to them. Poor oh, things. <laughs> Why? What did happen to the oysters? Oh, you wouldn't be interested. But I am. Oh, no, you're in much too much of a hurry. Well, perhaps I could spare a little time. You, you could? could? Well. <laughs> the Warruth and the Carpenter. <laughs> or the story of the curious oysters. <laughs> was shining on the sea, shining with all its might. He did his very best to make the billow smooth and bright. And this was odd because it was the middle of the night. Walrus and the carpenter were walking close at hand. The beach was wide from side to side, but much too full of sand. Mr. Walrus, said the carpenter, my brain begins to perk. We'll sweep this clear in half a year, if you don't mind the work. Work? <laughs> the time has come, the walrus said, to talk of other things. Of shoes and ships and sealing wax and cabbages and kings. And why the sea is boiling hot and whether pigs have wings. Kalu Kale, no work today. We're cabbages and kings. Come and walk with us. The day is warm and bright. A pleasant walk, a pleasant talk would be a sheer delight. Yes, and should we get hungry on the way, we'll stop and uh, have a bite. <laughs> but Mother Oyster winked her eye and shook her heavy head. She knew too well this was no time to leave her oyster bed. The sea is nice. Take my advice and stay right here. Mum said. Yes, yes, of course, of course. But, uh, ha ha, the time has come, my little friends, to talk of other things. Of shoes and ships and sealing wax, cabbages and kings, and why the sea is boiling hot, and uh, whether pigs have wings. Ha ha, Kalu Kale, come run away. Where the cabbages and the kings. Oysters, dear. <laughs> we can begin the feed. Feed? Oh, yes. Uh, the time has come, my little friends, to talk of food and things. Of peppercorns and mustard seed and other seasonings. We'll mix them all together in a sauce that's fit for kings. Kalo Kalai will eat today like cabbages and kings. <laughs> I, uh, I, I weep for you. I, oh, 
excuse me, I deeply sympathize. For I've enjoyed your company, oh, much more than you realize. Little oysters, little oysters, but Anshe there came none. And this was scarcely odd because they'd been, been eaten. eaten. Every one. Hmm, well, uh, 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 the time has come. <laughs> Hey, and there's a moral to it. Oh, yes, a very good moral. If you happen to be an oyster, 